Hey guys, Bees from Bees Toys here coming at you. Gonna do an opening of a Imperial Probe Droid, Probe Droid Deluxe Figure 3, as you can see. Um, I ended up buying these retail at $29.99, obviously. Uh, came out this past year for the Ford Empire 40th. Um, come out mid-year, I believe. Um, early to mid-year. Um, cool thing about him, um, he does have to come with a stand, so you can pose these um, for your dioramas or anything like that. Very cool. I have one sitting up here on a, a shelf. I've already got one open. Um, I actually got several of these. Uh, Target at one point had marked these by, I want to say buy one, get one half off or, or something. I, I don't remember. It was a while back, but I ended up buying like four or six more. Um, actually, I feel like it was more than that because I feel like I only paid, I think I only paid like 12 bucks a piece for these when I bought them. Um, I bought two at the original full price, and I think my other four or six that I bought were uh, 12, like 12 bucks, um, which is a good deal, very good deal for any Black Series figure. Um, so anyway, so I'll end up putting him, posing him up with my few that I've got sitting out right now that are on a shelf. Um, he'll pose with those, but there's not a lot, like I said, feature-wise, he's got a lot of cool... Uh, detail I guess I shouldn't say feature detail wise he's got good detail um, but uh, there's not a lot to this guy um, doesn't come with any specific weapons everything's I guess you could say everything's built in with this guy um, see can, there we go cut that piece off that's our bottom stand I wish every figure came with the stand. You know, you only get a couple of figures, and they were exclusives that come come with figure stands. And uh, that's a good trivia question at some point in the, in the future for a Star Black Series fan is what figures actually came with a uh, figure stand. And the only two, I only know of two that I can think of off the top of my head, are your GameStop exclusive Jump Troopers. Your Jump Troopers from... Uh, Rebels, which, uh, as I will, will always say, um, very well could have been your original first. Um, there's your stand, with that clear stand. I like that. That's cool. Good hard plastic there, too. Um, your first original gaming grades figure that they could have had would have been that guy. Um, well, I say that at gaming grades. He was in... Uh, he was in the Rebels cartoon, but actually I was wanting to say too, I'm pretty sure the Jump Troopers, like, I don't know if that was the actual design, but the Jump Troopers were in um, the first uh, Force Unleashed game that I recall. Um, that's actually where I remember seeing them first. Um, I've only watched, or I just finished Rebels not too long ago, but it took me a long time to watch... Um, I slowly watched the first two seasons. I hit, I was hit and miss on the first two seasons when I had some time, um, the last year or so. But uh, then uh, this summer, when COVID, when COVID hit, and this summer came around, um, I had a little more time, so I spent some more time. Um, sorry, I'm picking these up while I'm talking. It's gonna bother me if they're right there by my leg. Anyway, um, when COVID came around. And hit. I had a lot more time because I, I'm a school teacher and a coach, and a lot of my stuff got canceled. We're just now getting. We are actually just now getting, getting ready to have a meeting tomorrow. We're gonna start football here in the next week or two, uh, here in Illinois. Um, for some reason, we uh, were put on the back burner. Uh, schools here. People. Have com I will say I've been reading a lot of people will complain about schools not being open around the country. Um, we have been in school this year. Uh, last school year when COVID first came around, we were off till uh, when we went back in August when we were supposed to. Um, we may have started a week later than originally. I think that was what happened but, <clears throat> uh, with COVID. So at any rate, we are in school. So, um, But this week, uh, last two weeks, we've had a bad snow, so we've been out of school for that. Okay, so anyway, enough about that. So comes with the stand you can pose his legs um, any way you want they turn um, most of them turn side to side that one's a little stiff the bigger ones are not as much 
um, legs bend out. You can set him up any way you want, show off whatever you want. I just kind of have him hanging, you know, hanging down like that, like so. But again, you can pose those any way you want. Um, probe droids are really neat, neat figures. It's just, like I said, to me, there's not a lot you can do with them um, other than pose them. Because, um, like, here's this piece here, and I'm not even sure. I guess this is supposed to be the part of his blaster. So I would probably face that with the big eye towards the front. He's got two big eyes, three, a medium size, and some small ones. I guess their probe droids are made to see all around. But uh, at any rate, I'm glad they made these. Uh, some people out there probably don't really care, but uh, again, these are really good figures. Um, I like it when the Hasbro thinks outside of the box, and a lot of times they do. Um, that's one thing people probably don't give them enough credit for. They do think outside the box when it comes to figures. Um, I know in a, in a perfect world we would have every figure already ready to go uh, and then it would be a matter of repacks and variants and stuff like that for, for later on. But for marketing purposes, I understand you can only make so much at a time. Uh, you can't overload the market with that. But you should overload with the quantities. So um, I'd love to see quantities like we had when I was a kid. You know, you see these pictures of toy stores you walk in, you'd seen like, 50 of these on the shelf you know now you get a case of six and you know people come in and see them right away they're buying one or two right away so then a lot of times normally you're gonna only see one or two or maybe three on a shelf a lot of times unless you're the first guy there so um but anyway that's a rant for another time but the stand i'll show you too as, as i showed you earlier stand's got it looks like this looks like snow so it gives you the hoth look like because that's where it the one and one and only place in the movies that we actually see these probe droids was in Empire Strikes Back and the Hoth mission. Um, you do see them in uh, Rebel. I do. See, you see them in Rebels. Uh, I don't recall. Maybe Clone. No, not Clone Wars. Um, I feel like we saw them in another show, maybe or maybe I don't remember. But I know you see them in Rebels um, for sure. So <clears throat> they don't get a ton of exposure, but they did get some more. But Again, um, detail-wise, you get the details are good of this droid and this figure. They put a lot of those in. So um, I don't know that he's a thirty-dollar figure when you kind of mess with them a little bit and check the plastic. The plastic isn't nothing really special. Um, I mean, and for that matter, all the most all the pieces are plastic. This middle piece, um, not sure how it's attached, but it does spin. Um, I think there's some screw, mini screws in there, it looks like. So you could take this guy apart. There's at least three. Yeah, I see three small. They're, they're painted black, so it's hard to tell. But three small screws underneath there that you could unscrew and probably take this top piece off if you wanted to. I'm not going to mess with it. I have no desire to. But, uh, yeah, there he is. So as antennas come up and down. Another one of the one of the few really neat features that at least you can move the antenna up because I think you do see that in Empire where they go to transmit when they find the uh, find the uh, shield generator and his actually it shows it going down I believe and then he floats off and then the second he does that ironically Chewie finds him and blasts and blows him up him and Han and then they're good thing the Empire knows we're here. As Han's smart aleck comment always goes. So, anyway, but uh, yeah, there you have it. Imperial Probe Droid. Cool figure. Um, Deluxe 3. No, not sure if he's, like I said, the price I paid is very, very good. I think this is a $15 um, figure, but again, I don't know I don't know what it costs to make these, but my guess is not a lot. But I like comes with the stand. So, I guess if you want to count this as a figure in a stand, we now have, we have three. Um, individual figures. Um, the Biker Scout does come with the stand too, and then so does all your vehicles for the most part, except your two big ones. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, cool figure. I like Probe Droid. This will be my second one I open. I got a few more in the box if I ever decide to open any more. Um, I'm sure I'm going to set up a Hoth Diorama. With all the snow we got here, it's of course today's 
Saturday and it's starting to melt off but the temperature got up to high 30s today and it's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow and, and with the rain so it's probably gonna be gone but um, yeah I should have got this guy out and took some pictures out in the snow him and some snow snow troopers but uh, maybe next time um, sure we'll get snow again sometime in the future be it this year or next year uh, my, my plan is by next year anyway to have it shell I have a shelving unit I have it set up and have these all put out so uh, hopefully I'll be able to just take a pull off and take them outside and take some snapshots of them but anyway there he is Imperial Probe Droid guys from the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary line they come out with uh, deluxe packaging as always hit the like and subscribe button if you want to watch more of my videos um, thanks for watching and I'm Beast from Beast Toys we'll see you later